to check the crystal oscillator, we have to connect the oscilloscope and the function generator. The connection is very simple. This is the positive probe and this is the negative. And here it is oscilloscope. This is negative probe and it is positive. We have to connect both the negative and here we have to connect the crystal oscillator. So this is our connection and the voltage should be it should be 5 volt ok now let's say it is 10 megahertz and the frequency of this it is something else then we will get a output like this and whenever it is equal to this means when you are generating 10 megahertz then it will be something like this and it will be more than 5 volt the peak to peak voltage it is more than 5 volt if you are getting this it means this one is working it is because the resonance frequency now we will see this in practical it is 4 megahertz one pin to the oscilloscope and another to function generator positive now see I am supplying sine wave and if I set the frequency to 4 megahertz see the oscilloscope 2 megahertz notice 4 we are getting sine wave and see the voltage it is peak to peak 18 volt so it is highly increased because of resonance frequency now I am trying another oscillator here it is 3.579545 megahertz now you can see here 3.579 now from here itself it is start to responding it is 5, 4, 5, 4 and 5. Now see the peak to peak voltage. It is 50 volt. So from this method we can say our crystal is working. So this is how you can check without using anything else. So guys this is all for today. I hope you like this video. If so then please like share and subscribe to my channel in the next video i'll show you another topic till then stay happy and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching